How far gone are you? I said, how far gone are you? I think one or two ones. I don't know. Tell that young man we'll meet in a week's time. No, no, I don't want to get married. I Shut up! Shut up! Tell him everything will be done in one day. That's where it is. Daddy, I want to go to a fashion school. I don't want to get married. Shut up! That's nonsense. That's nonsense. Didn't you know that when you got pregnant? You know my position in the church. And you know what I feel about premarital sex. And you still had premarital sex. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. I don't want the baby. I don't want to have the baby. I don't want to have the baby. Mommy, I don't want to have the baby. I will not beg him. And I will never support you to abort an innocent child. You have upset your daddy. I'm sorry. You have brought him to, to, to the family. Mommy, Get out. No, Mommy, I don't want to have this baby. I want to go to fashion school. Get out. Mommy, please now. Mommy, please help me talk to daddy, please. Mommy. <laughs> Tekina, how could you? How could you do this to me? How? What's going on? Is everything all right? How about you tell me why I got a call from my parents? Why you got a call from your parents? I mean, they're your parents. Aren't they supposed to call you? Don't play this game with me. Don't. How did they know I was pregnant? Um, I... No, babe, I... Why? How could you do this to me? What... Why are you doing this? Hey. You're doing this for us, okay? No. You're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself. Oh. Oh, now I see. So this is your plan all along, huh? This is your plan. To get me pregnant so I have no other choice than to accept your proposal. And you even went behind me to tell my parents. Knowing fully what their take on this. You know what? Bravo. You've done really well. Congratulations. You mean, look. Do, 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 do. Look, I... It's no secret that I love you. Yes, I love you and you know. And no, I don't want you to abort this baby. Our baby. Well... My father says you can bring your people over next week. Come on. Yeah. How can I? Change our story. I've tried but can't tear it up my being. I wish I could rewrite the history. The more I try, it just keeps closing up. I'm caught up in this web and stuck with this man. Everything has changed, but it feels like I'm still that me. Oh, oh yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in yesterday and all of the pain that it brought me. Stuck. I'm stuck. And pain on forgiveness stuck. I'm stuck. 
been stuck In yesterday and all of the pain that it brought me stuck I'm stuck In this feeling of anger and pain on forgiveness that I feel A pair of wings, or maybe air to breathe. I'm losing everything. God, please come rescue me. I'm tired of the fighting, I'm tired of the hurting. Tired of darkness, I need light. I am so forgetting. Mom, Dad said you drop us off at school. Yeah, Mom, we should pull it. Go to the car. Why in God's name am I the one taking your children to school? I told you last night that I will be leaving for work really early. Were you listening? I didn't hear you say that. You don't hear me say anything, Kemi. And for what it's worth, they are your children too. Hello? I thought they belonged to the mad woman at the gate side. Is that supposed to be funny? Kemi, my goodness, they're still home. Nengi has a test today. Ah! <laughs> It's Friday. I know what day of the week it is. And I'm sure you also know that the cook won't be on duty today as it is a day off. I don't understand. What's the rambling about? And why am I being reminded of the cook's day off? Because your husband and daughters, they need to have breakfast. Um. I have been very patient with you, Kevin. I have tolerated you all these years. But at some point, you're going to have to stop this. Because your family needs you. Family? What family? Huh? I never wanted a family. You did! You cannot continue like this. The girls, they need your mother. I need the woman I fell in love with. Every man must carry their cross. Jesus had it. I have mine. This is yours. Carry it. Excuse me. Hey. It's our fault, right? Okay. 
Why did you two get married? Don't ask that kind of a question. Do you love her? Of course I do. And she loves me too. She's just, um, she's just going through some things, okay? But she hates us. No. That's not true. She loves both of you. Dad, we're not babies. Don't fool us. Dad, we can see that she hates us. No, she doesn't. Um, like I said earlier, she's just, she's just going through her phase, okay? She'll be fine. Okay, I will be fine. All right? Um, you know what? We'll get both your favorite on our way to school. So let's hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. to affect them and they're asking a lot of questions. Have you had dinner? We ought to take out. There's some for you in the microwave. Your favorite. Did you hear me? I'm not deaf. Don't have to always be in a foul mood. I know you're upset about what happened this morning. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean to. If I had known that, you know, all this would have affected you the way it is, I wouldn't have pushed. I wouldn't have done the things I did. None of them. I'm sorry. This is the same as the milk that is spilled. You know that, right? Babe, how can I fix this? You me? can't. Woman, what, what is wrong? What, what, what is wrong? What's going on? Why are you doing this? Do you want to know the problem? You are the problem. Since you won't stop nagging and telling me about how to be a good mother, you are the problem! I should be the one asking you that question. You seem to have a thing for late night quarrels. I don't know why this still bothers you. They are parents. And so, they do this every other night. Doesn't change anything. By the way, why are you so concerned? <sighs> because when I get the admission for higher institution, that will be the last day they'll sing in this house. We can't possibly abandon them. Not we, Nengi. Just me. So you would leave me here? Well, apparently, you're the magician who can fix broken homes, so yes.
I hope not broken by them, see. Our, our parents just need to... Oh, please, Nengi. Save me the Jesus sermons. Our parents don't go to church and they are not believers. I'm a believer. I go to church and that's what matters. It's a contract, contract, contract. Fine. Um, agreement between Benson and Sons and Mr. Kalawani, Kalawani. Nothing. Uh, thank you. I need to hurry now. What do you want? Mm, Mom, we need your help with our assignment. Okay, move for your dad together. That's why he has a late meeting. What kind of homework do you do you require my help at your age? Eh? Shouldn't you be doing your own work by yourself? But mom, we need the internet to carry out our research. And what happened to your desktop? We're out of internet. Where's the help? She's in the kitchen. Then go! Go downstairs and meet her! But mom, we- Don't you ever but mom me! Understood? Now go meet the help. If she can't help you, wait for your dad to return. Go! Shush, 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 shush! Go! Go, move, 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 go! I'm losing everything 
God, please come rescue me. I'm tired of the fighting. I'm tired of the hurting. Well, I'm tired of the Rose? Welcome, Dad. Why are you guys here? What did you do? Come. Come here. Welcome, sir. Rose, what's going on? Why are my daughters sleeping in the living room at this time of the day? What's happening? They need help for something. I couldn't help them. And Madam is busy. They insisted on waiting for you, sir. Madam is busy. And what is this thing you need help with? Um, we need help with our assignment. Yeah, the assignment. Thought as much. Um, Rose, that's okay. It's fine. Mm. No, I get the books. I thought you're supposed to be tops in your class. Hmm? How much more wicked can you be? How much more wicked can you be? Your children ask you for help with their assignment and you refer them to the help? This madness has to stop at some point. What do you mean what am I talking about? Your children are downstairs, sleeping on the couch. They waited for me to come and help them with something you could have easily solved with your phone. But the house has a phone now. Really? Uh-uh. Why is it that you're only so dramatic when it comes to these children? Dramatic? You call this being dramatic? Concerning our children, dramatic? Oh, let me guess, you don't, you, you don't see anything wrong with what you've done, right? I didn't say that. I mean, the help is here to help, right? Ah. Uh -uh. uh. I'm still talking to you. I'm talking to you. It's obvious you're looking for a fight. You are looking for a fight. Listen, Kevin. I have tolerated this long enough over the years. It ends now. It really must stop. Still awake. How therapeutic is drinking? You won't understand. Obviously, because when I'm angry, I rather write or sleep. And who said anything about me being angry? Dad, this house is not soundproof. I know what it looks like to you, okay, but it's not as bad as you think it is. Do you? Do I what? You don't know what it looks like to me. Dad, you married the wrong woman. I get it. I'm not a baby. If there's anything I don't know, I know this at least. 
Your major concern should be Nengi. Your constant fighting with mom bothers her. And she cries a lot about it. I don't know how to react to this. Just... Find a way to talk to her if you have the chance. As for me, I'm good. Just don't stand there drinking. You've been doing it for years, and but nothing's working out. Don't you think you should stop? How long have you known? Since I was six. Ever wondered what happened to, to all the mess you create? After an episode with mom? Exactly. go to bed now, okay? Just don't sleep on the sofa this time. All right. Madam. Oh my God. You know, my love. Can I change our story? I've tried but can't tear it up my being. I wish I could rewrite the history. The more I try, it just keeps going. Come on, we need to talk. We really do need to talk. I got that part. I'd like to know how I can help you with everything that's going on. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your grievance towards me. Towards the kids. Towards this marriage. You used to love me. I know for a fact that you love me so dearly. What happened? It just, it just disappeared. I get it, you didn't want this life. That is clear to me. But for crying out loud, we have children now and it's been so many years. I thought that by now you'll be over it. Well, you thought wrong. Do you remember how I begged you? I begged you to allow me pursue my dreams of being a fashion consultant. Did you listen? You and my parents planned all this. You planned all this without thinking for a second how I felt about everything. And now you want to talk. Okay, it's been so many years. Does it change anything? It doesn't change anything. What has been done, has been done. 
I'm just only existing. Have you thought about how all this is affecting the children? You wanted them. And you have them. You said you would take care of them. So why are you complaining? Okay. These children are grown. They see everything. They know exactly what is going on between the two of us. Please just consider how everything is going to affect them psychologically. And how it's going to change their views on marriage. What about me? What about how I feel? You know, I, I don't mind telling them exactly what is going on. It's not like I don't love them. I just find myself seeing them as the reason why my life is messed up. And also, I'm not a good mother. And you're going to react this way to your feelings at their expense? I'm done with this conversation. I have something to do. You have in mind. Well, we need to drop down your mom's conversation. We just have a few questions, Dad. What did mom mean when she said you planned something without thinking about her? It's time we have this conversation. What's going on? Would you just call me the lottery we won instead of shouting the roof down? What? It has nothing to do with money. You have got to give me more than this, your cute smile. Right? Oh, baby, come on now. Come on, guess. Do they have anything to do with money? Is it ours to spend or ours to give? Ours to give? No, I don't like losing money, babe. Baby, concentrate now. Yeah, right. Tell me and stop messing around. What, what's this? What, what happened? Baby, just guess now. Babe, I give up. Just don't. Oh, you're just a very lazy man. No, nah, I'm not lazy. Listen to me. Listen to me. Huh? See, for a man like me to bag a beautiful woman like you, has got to be what? Confident, strong, determined, and skilled. So yeah, I'm far from lazy. Okay? Just tell me, what is it? I got accepted into Lagos Fashion School! Oh yes! <laughs> it's so great that, that that's what you've always wanted. Yes. <laughs> it's so big for me, for me, for me. I'm so happy for you. Hey, what is it? This is something you've always wanted, but why is your mood changing? I need a lot of money for tuition, accommodation, feeding, and books, and. 
My clothes, I need to change my clothes. Slow down, slow down. One step at a time, okay? First things first, the admission, which you secured. Then you speak to your parents. I'm sure they'll support you. Okay? Finally! What you've always wanted. Yes! Why fashion? Fashion. What happened to your medical license? You know, at times I wonder whose daughter you really are. How can you? How can you after medical school? After your husbandship and a valedictorian to boot. And you just decide to practice fashion. Why fashion as a choice of career? Why? Daddy, a career in fashion is as good as... As good as what? Please. All I need is help to, to, to pay for my tuition and accommodation. That's all. Now you listen, I am not going to spend my money on any crazy lifestyle or razzmatazz of any type. I would. Daddy, the reason I studied medicine was because of you. Because you wanted it, not me. Now I want to do what I want. I never told you to study medicine and throw the certificate away. So what's the use in studying medicine and not practicing it? What? Daddy, please. to be a fashion consultant. That is what I want. That is my passion. Daddy, please. I need money to facilitate my admission. Please. Woman, talk to your daughter. Talk to her before I commit murder. Talk to her. She, 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 she wants to practice fashion. Fashion. Please talk to daddy now. Why do you always make your father and I look at you as if we are bad parents? Why? But that, but mommy, I want to be a fashion consultant, not a medical doctor. That's but your father wants you to become a doctor. That's not what I want. I want to be a fashion consultant. That's all. What is wrong with you? Mommy, please now. Just talk to daddy for me now. Please. Ah. My parents are very difficult people. They don't care about me. About my future. Dreams or aspiration. But they are still your parents regardless. And remember what the Bible said about being parents and the blessings that comes with it. The same people that rebuke them from, from provoking their children to anger. Why are they treating me this way? Maybe you need to calm down. You need to calm down, okay? Please don't say that to me. My parents hate me. They hate me. Since the death of my brother, all they do is... They decide what I eat, where I go to, what I do. They decide everything. I'm tired. Your parents mean well for you. And I won't stay here and watch you talk about them like this. Come on. Babe. Can you help me with some money for my training? I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I start as soon as I start working. Hey, of course I'll help you. You will? Yes, I will. If I have the money, I wouldn't hesitate to help you. How about the money from your trust fund? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't touch that money. I'm not right now. I'm sorry. How about you sell some of our properties? I mean, the TV, 
the couch, the refrigerator. You can't do that. Plus, you're not even the type that would want to sell properties. Oh, no. No, but I'm desperate. I don't want to lose this opportunity. And... Oh. Babe, are you okay? <gasps> Babe? Babe, is everything okay? Babe? I am not keeping it. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Because we're not ready, can't you see? I just got admission to study in LFS, and now you want me to give that up? My parents are committed members of the church. How do I explain to them that I've been sleeping with a man that is not my husband? And you think terminating the baby is a solution to this problem? What about my admission? Babe, I don't see how having a baby stops you from going to fashion school. Plus, we can get married, you know? Oh, wait. So you have money to, to marry me, but you can't assist me to study? I love you. And I want to be a part of your life and this baby's life. I don't want you to terminate it because of the risk involved. Just think about it. What if you go through with this and something horrible happens to you in the process? Nothing will happen. Nothing. I've tried but can't tear it up my feet. I wish I could. And that's the story behind your thoughts. So, so you mean we are unplanned? No, no, darling, don't talk like that. Both of you are a gift to us, okay? How did you guys see a counselor? <laughs> I think the appropriate question would be, what didn't I try to get your mother to do since we got married? Why can't you guys just get a divorce? Spamma! What, Nengi? I mean, it's going to happen sooner or later. Just like Paul's parents. Um, look, your, your, your mom, she's very big on divorce. She, she, won't, she won't have it. She, even if I ask her for one, she wouldn't. Even if it's the last thing she has to do on earth. But why, Dad? You need to understand this. I love you. I love her dearly, okay? And I feel totally responsible for everything that has happened. And if she's not opting up, you know, for a divorce, there's nothing I can really do. Dad, I think we should pray. I think we should pray. So, Mom, give us another chance. Nengi, not now. Hey, hold on. Your sister's right. Perhaps we should. So, you both want to pray now? When every other night, all you do is fight! Behama, the circumstances surrounding the situation between your mom and I is, is quite slippery. And... We need to be careful. I maybe we haven't handled things properly, but I I'm looking at alternative strategies. Or maybe you married the wrong woman and you should own your mistake, Dad. Belemate Kenatokumbo, you will show me some respect as I am your father. Show you respect? Do you even know how it feels to have a mother like ours? You guys can pray. I don't want to. Dilemma. What, Nengi? Dad, I am not going to hate you if you get a divorce. Look, I know this has affected both of you in the worst way. But believe me, we're doing all we can to make things better and set things right, okay? Maybe I don't believe you. Dad, 
I believe in Yeshua. And I believe you do everything for us. I also believe you help our family. I'll miss you, Daddy. And I'll miss both of you. Yeah? So, how long are you going to stay? Uh, not long. Three weeks, four weeks, maybe. <laughs> it's not that bad, okay? All right, so, um, I'll drop you guys off at school before I head to the airport, all right? Let's go! Why do you hate us so much? Excuse me? Nancy. Leave me alone, Nengi! We get that you never wanted this marriage. But has it ever occurred to you that we didn't ask to be born? She's not just in the mood. She hasn't eaten anything. That's why she's very angry. Um, I will go and talk to her. Get away.
a pair of wings Oh, maybe it'll free I'm losing everything God, please come rescue me I'm tired of the fighting I'm tired of the hurting Tired of darkness, I need light I am so fucking everything cause I'm hurting everyone put the blame on me I think I know better now everything has changed but it feels like I'm still that me oh oh I'm stuck, I'm stuck In yesterday and all of the pain that it brought me stuck I'm stuck In this feeling of anger and pain on forgiveness Stuck, I'm stuck in yesterday and all of the pain that it brought me Get away from me! <laughs> you can't carry me! Hey, my beautiful daughters! Come here! How are you? How was school today? Come, 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 come! Come give mommy a big hug! Come! Yay! That's my daughters! I love you! Um, okay, um, you know what? Why don't you go up and freshen up, then come down for us to have an early dinner, okay? Yes. Why don't you come downstairs for dinner? I'm staying right here. She finally realized that we need food. I'm not eating whatever she makes. Lindsay. You have to loosen up. She's our mother. A mother who decided to play her role today. For all I know, that food could be poison. Hey, Lindsay. That's not fair. How could she poison us? I don't know. Ask me again. Look, I want to be alive to tell the story of what happened to you when that comes back. Suit yourself. Where's your sister? Um, you should go without her. What's the third plate for? I need to on the table. She's coming now. And how did you know that? Because she's my daughter. We shared the same amount of stubbornness. But you see, you, you took after your father with your slow to anger and constantly helping others. That's it. Um, you should say the grace first. Hmm. 
You didn't take this after your father or your grandparents. Did you say something? No. <laughs> Uh, let's say the grace. Do you want to say it or shall I say it? Say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Abba, thank you for the food. Thank you for my mommy. And please provide food for people across the world. And I also noticed you did what we talked about yesterday. And please supply food for people across the world. Amen. Amen. Who taught you how to pray? No one. Abba is my friend. So I talk to him every time, every day. Um, can I get to know you and Abba? Yes, you can. We saved you a plate. How did you know she was gonna go? Remember, I told you about we having the same kind of stubbornness. Yeah. Belema, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I cost you. I was stuck in the past that, that I failed to see what God has blessed me with. I'm sorry. I know I hurt you the most. You had to clean up your dad's for me whenever he comes back home drunk. How did you know? The maid doesn't sleep over, remember? Some things are very obvious. your forgiveness please please my child and you think this would work out I know it wouldn't but it's a start a start of what a happy ever ending Pelemzi don't Nengi how dare she think she can win us over with an apology and food what does she take us for hungry refugees what we have ever wanted. This is all you have ever wanted, not me. I can't be bothered by this or be won over by an apology from a woman who hates me. Please, what were you even thinking?
sorry, Mom. This has been hard for the both of us, especially her. I understand. I would wait for her to come around. I have all the time in the world. I love you, Mom. We've been waiting for this moment for years. <sighs> I love you too, my child. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you. But you don't want to. You do because I don't know what you've been through all these years, but I'm sorry that we came and interrupted your plans. No. Listen to me. You and your sister did not interrupt my life. Hmm? You came and made it more meaningful. But I was just too blind to see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it took me all these years to realize it. I promise you that I will make up for the lost years. Okay? And please, can you teach me how to talk to Abba? Sure. You know. If there is anything you need, you can ask Nengi for it. I don't want Nengi to help Belemzi. You have no right to call me that. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, I have no right to call you Belemzi. Belema Tekina Tokumbo. I am sorry. I know I messed up big time. I am sorry. Find a place in your heart to accommodate me, please. I just have one question. Go on. Ask me anything, okay? Why? Why do you not want to have us? I mean, that explained... That explained how you lost your dreams when you got married, but... I want to hear from you, Mom. Why? I was scared. Scared of what? I don't know. I was so scared that I would be a horrible mom. Oh. No need for being scared. You got an A for that. Did your dad ever told you about my brother? I thought you're the only child. Well, technically, I am an only child now. But before then, I had a brother. Had?
He passed away. I was... I was only eight at the time. And my baby brother was a few months old. He was the most beautiful baby I'd ever seen. I love to, to carry him and play with his tiny but strong hands. And I would sing to him while he clap his tiny hands. It got the most hypnotizing smile ever. Very attractive. I mean, whenever he smiles, you will have to smile with him. The day of the accident, my mother had just finished baiting him and handed him over to me. Take your brother downstairs and play, she said. I didn't see it. I mean, the water. I didn't, I didn't see the water on the floor, so I tripped. And he fell over the balcony and landed on the floor. There was, there was so much blood. He, he wasn't crying. He, he, he wasn't shaking, he wasn't moving. So I ran, I ran to call my mom and she came and saw him and she fell too. I was only eight, Belema. I didn't know what was going on. I, I didn't know, I was just, Eight. And my dad came and saw the scene. He took the baby and mommy and left. After a week, daddy said, Baby, he's gone. And I will never see him again. I knew I'd, I'd done something awful. Mommy and Daddy never said anything about it. I mean, they didn't have to. They didn't have to. So, so you don't want to have a child because of your brother's death? I was scared. I wasn't ready. I, 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 I got scared when I found out I was pregnant, so I panicked. Why didn't you just say so? You think I didn't? I did. But your father, your father would not just listen to me. He insisted we, we keep it. Seriously, I was... 
I was scared myself. I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted. But I, I, I know I, I, I didn't want to have a baby. But at the same time, I was scared of my life regarding the abortion. I was. And then he went behind me and informed my parent about my pregnancy and made the situation worse. So I was mad at him. I was very, very mad at him. I was. I get that you were mad at him, but after you had us, why were you so cruel towards us? Why? After I had you children, two, two, not one, I got scared. I got scared of losing you both like my brother. I let the fear of losing you both like my brother overpowered me. And it went on for so long. I kept being scared. Fear kept going and going and going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Adults, don't cry. <laughs> yes, but some adults do. Some adults cry. Okay. Oh, you look ridiculous. <laughs> Does that mean you've forgiven me? Huh? Not yet. You still owe me years of properly cooked meals. Years of motherly love and... You still owe me all the years I've missed. Done. Done. John, I'll do anything, anything. Okay, I'll do anything to get a friend. It's there in for you, that's right. Yes, come, come here, baby, come. Come here, come here. I'm so sorry. I know I said that I wanted all I've missed for years, but I didn't mean you shouldn't go to work. And good morning to you, Melemsi. Oh, sorry. Melema. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, my darling. Can, can someone tell me what's going on here? Is it obvious? <coughs> Mom made breakfast. What, what about, where is, where is Rose? I asked her to take the week off. A week off? Aren't you supposed to go to work today? Well, I quit. You did what? You quit? Mm -hmm. Why? Come on, guys. Don't make a big deal out of it. I'm just 
playing the role of a mother. Hmm? Besides, how am I supposed to make up for all the years that I've lost? <sighs> Let's just eat, okay? And two weeks for my special dilemma. Oh, what's my own? Um, one for my tiny little Nengi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something about it. Uh-huh. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. But I didn't mean you shouldn't go to work. Ah. Uh, but you know I don't like my job. I hate my job. Mm. Mm. It's a delicious. Thank you. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hi. What's going on? I got in. Got in where? Where did you have to go somewhere? No, the fashion school. So all this shouting is because you got into a fashion school? Yes. Um. You know how losing my scholarship made me feel, and how I hate my job. But now I get to do what I love to do best. Well, you have a point. Um, so which school did you get into? The Lagos Fashion School. Are you serious? <laughs> so that was the same school you went to when you were pregnant. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, <laughs> so uh, thank you, my love. Thank you. Um, so I submitted my portfolio and they considered it. Yes, they considered it. Oh, oh I'm so happy for you, Mom. Thank that was you. so amazing. So what Thank are the you. odds? Um session starts in a month. Yes. Really? Thank you, my daughters. Thank you for forgiving me. I won't have done this without the help of you both. Come on, Mom. It's not us, it's you. Oh, thank and Abba. You. Yes, <laughs> and Abba. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Amen. Oh, what are you doing here? I couldn't sleep. Why? Dad is going back tomorrow. I know. Does he bother you? But you both get along very well. It's not about me. It's about you and Dad. My darling. Your dad has every right to be upset and offended with me. But you've changed. The consequences for every action. I think it's time for me to face mine. But Abba... Abba cannot help me in this circumstance. It is my cross and I must bear it, okay? I don't understand, Mom. I don't understand. I prayed for Abba to help you and Dad, and he answered. Yes, he did. But why will he still punish you? Because he is not a man. His ways are not our ways. 
And for every action, there is a reaction. I'll have to be patient with your dad the same way he did with me so many years ago. You sound like you can handle this. Yes. I think I'm ready. <laughs> yes. That's what Abba did. Abba has given you the grace to be patient. Yes. He has given me the grace to be patient, tolerant, and have trust in him. I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Is everything okay? I'm just worried because I don't know how you both will take what I'm about to tell you. It can't be that bad. I want to go see my parents. <laughs> okay, sure, but why are you acting like a thief caught in the act? That's because I don't want to go alone. Then great. We'll go with you. Really? Yes, Nengi. Really. And stop acting like that's the way you love chemistry. Okay. You have a point. I'll spend more time in studying. Mom, I'll come down and your face. Okay. I'll be in my room. Do I have a say in that? Would you ever have a say? Come in. Your father has prayed for this moment since after the wedding. All attempts to even get Tekina to come to us was aborted before the plans fell us. I should have been here earlier. We did not blame your decision to kick us out of your life. At the time, we thought it was the best thing for you. But now we know better. Oh. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, Mom, I forgive you. If Abba and my kids can forgive me, who am I not to? Dad, these are your grandkids. Oh, oh. Come, 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 come say hi to Grandpa. <coughs> My grandchildren, what is your name? Nengi Mote Tekena Tukumbu. And what are you called? Melema Tekena Tukumbu. Where is Tekena? I haven't seen him in years. He traveled. Boy is coming back today. It will be better for all of you to spend some time with us. For some snacks and juice. Wouldn't that be good, kids? Of course, Grandma. <laughs> We'd love to stay by Grandma. Tell me. Now tell me. Have you had yellow soup and tart before? Your mom knows how to cook from me. She learned from me. 
Now, let's go to the kitchen. Join me to the kitchen. Man, so the Aosa man coming with his ten watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Daddy, we missed you a lot. I miss you too, my pumpkin. Mm. Welcome, Dad. It's my love. You're welcome. Thank you. What did you get for us? I got a lot of goodies for both of you when they are downstairs. Uh, but first, I'd like to know what's without the food on the dining. Are we expecting a guest? Mm -mm. No. It's for your welcome package. My welcome package? Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, where is Rose? I didn't find her downstairs. Rose? Well, unfortunately, she's not working here anymore. Says who? Dad. She hasn't been coming to work for over a week. I don't understand. Over a week and um, who's been cooking for you guys? Mom! Mom. You're serious now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's um, interesting. All right, so why don't we go downstairs and check the goodies I got for both of you? Um, we don't even mind it. Yeah, you can go downstairs, Dad. We'll be there. Right, okay. Okay. I will just be downstairs. Okay. What's wrong? Um, there's nothing wrong. Um, just concerned about your dad. But why? Why don't you both go downstairs and meet him? Hmm? Yes. Yeah, what about the story you were telling us? Um, okay, let me see. Okay, how about I complete the story when you return? She's right, Nengi. Let's go downstairs before Dad starts feeling awkward. Yeah. You promise. I promise. Let's deal. Go. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> okay, but you'll be back, right? You come down and uh, yeah, I'll meet you downstairs. Should we start first? Uh, I think we should start from the drink. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. How about we start from what exactly is going on? Why Rose is no longer working with us? Why this much food? And most importantly, why both of you are acting really strange? Well, I think you may want to sit down if you want to hear that. 
Belama, um, I will understand everything you have to say with me standing. Well, I'm listening. How can I change our story? I've tried but can't tear it up my being. I wish I could rewrite the history. The more I try, it just keeps closing up. I'm caught up in this web and stuck with this memory. Everything has changed, but it feels like I'm still that me. What's going on? How long have I been gone for? Three weeks? You know this is happening? These children and their mother are... What is going to happen to the divorce papers? Where am I going to start from? What is this about? going to say this once. I see you've gotten with the twins. I don't know whatever games you're trying to play, Kema. You can do whatever you want with me. But this bullshit you're trying with the twins. If you hurt them, the way you hurt me. I will skin you alive. Everything has changed. 
Dutch. Dad's never late. But it here feels like I'm still dead. Me. What did you hear? Oh, yeah. I'm stuck. Oh, oh. 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 Breakfast, Dad. Um, don't worry about that. We'll get something on the way. No, Dad. Mom made this. And we would rather have it than to eat from the fast food. Yeah, Dad, but we're waiting for you. Look, I do not have time to spare, okay? Surely your mother can keep the food for both of you. Hmm? But, Daddy... No buts, okay? Unless you have another means of getting to school, I suggest that you girls start moving now. Let's go. Don't worry, girls. Uh... I'll pack it and keep it for you guys until when you return, okay? Hello. Um, we're hungry, I know. Check it out. Sorry. I am truly sorry for everything. Please forgive me. If I get to the car and you girls are not there, I'll be off. Let's go, Nengi. Love you. Love you too. too. Okay. okay. Don't forget to keep our <laughs> food. Sure, I won't. Go, go, go. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Go. <laughs> What is it? Dad, we need to talk to you. Why are you being so hostile to Mom? Excuse me? Mom has done her best to apologize to you, but all you can do is to disregard her efforts. Because I don't understand that. Isn't this what we wanted? Do we really want her to turn around? Do we want her to care? And now that she's doing it, you don't seem to acknowledge her. So because she's attempting to apologize, um... I should forget 13 years of neglect. All the bad memories, the bad experiences. But she said sorry. Oh, she said sorry. And um, sorry is supposed to somehow make me fall in love with her all over again just like that. Dad, we get that you're hurt. But be open to the possibilities of changes. <sighs> Listen. I know your mother better than the two of you. And I know she's up to something. If I don't like the two of you, I wouldn't let her fool me. At least not again. So if this is what um, you came to talk to me about, I think we are done. I've got work to complete.
I neglected you. I played with your heart. I disregarded your love. It would be selfish of me to expect you to heal quickly. Haba has been teaching me how to be patient and how to trust him. I trust his way. This is his way. And I know he didn't bring me this far with my kids to abandon me. If you decide to leave me, I will understand. Abandoned me. You let me bleed. I know my love. I desperately want to hate you. I want to hate you so bad. No matter how hard I try, I can't. Then don't. Don't hate me, TK. Please. I'm sorry. Stuck in this feeling of anger and pain. 